We want to go to Africa now and a deteriorating situation in the Democratic Republic of Congo. A rebel force has captured the army's main base in the eastern part of that country near Rwanda. The rebels have also taken several towns outside of the provincial capital of Goma. And they're said to be 12 or so miles outside of that city. This recent fighting has now forced tens of thousands of people from their homes in and around Goma. And today, hundreds of protesters attacked the United Nations headquarters there, angry that U.N. peacekeepers were not able to protect them from a rebel attack. That headquarters is now under siege, and one of those trapped inside is Michael Cavanaugh. He's a journalist who is on assignment in Goma for World Focus and the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. Michael, what's going on there right now? Well, we're hearing right now Martin, uh, small arms and gunfire not that far from, from the base, from the U.N. base here. And we're also hearing reports that protesters are returning to the base. People are scared, especially with the gunfire this close to Goma. And explain to us, why are these protesters attacking the United Nations compound? Basically, this war has been going on for so long now, and people are incredibly exhausted and angry and frustrated, and they feel like the U.N. isn't doing enough to protect them. It's a huge crisis, and the security situation is such that peacekeepers and humanitarian officials can't actually reach these people, these displaced people, to support them. And what are the broader implications, Michael, of this conflict? Well, it's really a regional conflict between Rwanda and Congo. I mean, the Congolese war is much more complicated than that, but at this point, this is kind of an end game to this Congolese war that started in 1996. The implications are, are both this regional war and an enormous humanitarian disaster. So it's a huge crisis, and the security situation is such that peacekeepers and humanitarian officials can't actually reach these people, these displaced people, to support them. If you want more information on that ongoing conflict in eastern Congo, go to worldfocus.org.